we're going to speak about user focus, one of the key elements of dashboarding. And our speaker to tell us about this is Peter Galik. Thank you, Olga. Thanks again for having me. So I will, we will double click into a specific area. Thanks, Ivan, for the introduction and the, the overall story. We will double click now to a specific area that I picked and I, I hope you will find it interesting. And to set the scene, I will introduce the company that I work for. Uh, it's called Takeda. It's a Japanese biopharmaceutical company that is over 230 years old. And for a long time, it was very much Japan focused. In the last 10, 20 years, it really expanded. And through the acquisitions, mergers, you know, the classic, the classic pharmaceutical development and in some organic uh, R&D, uh, we grew and what we see on the map that we actually still have the headquarters in Tokyo, which didn't change for over 200 years, but we already have a global hub in Boston. And uh, we have many other places where we operate um, and it's a, it's a diverse business. So you can imagine from a finance perspective what this probably means for the systems, for the data models. It has not been you know, a, an easy journey in the last 10, 20 years. And we are talking here about dashboarding. So on the next slide, I will mention one more feature about the company and we, then we go straight to the problem. Um, not only that the company expanded through the acquisitions and, and the mergers with different companies that is on different operating models on different systems in different locations with different cultures than the Japanese or than American. But also Takeda is very proud of empowering uh, the local organizations to drive their business, which is quite unusual in, in pharmaceuticals. Global R&D driven pharmaceuticals tend to be very centralized. Takeda is actually not so centralized. And we are proud of what we call empowering the local organizations. Represented on this slide by the perils. So yes, not only the American organization is different than the Japanese, but also the manufacturing organization is different than the R&D organization, which is different than a commercial organization. And they are all empowered to be different. And they are all proud of it. So imagine you try to create solutions for this group from a global perspective. That is not easy. That is not easy. So we really double click into this area and what we have done at Takeda as a um, solution that that I hope uh, I hope you will you know will resonate with some of the struggles you might be having. A global solution that we have is actually also used locally. And, and how is that possible? It is possible thanks to meaningful customization. So I just pick an example here, and on the left side on the screen we can see that um, we allow. A, I, I think I should call it self-service of some of the master data structures. So on the product structures on the left side, you can actually pick and choose products and structure it in a way how you want. We currently operate in, in the company, we, we produce reports locally, centrally on about 50 product structures. Well, why is that? Well, because that's how the business works. Before I moved to the role where I am, I was a head of finance in Poland. And in Poland, we decided to merge the oncology division with the hematology division because there was a local logic for it. And since we have a local empowerment, we did it. We had one head of these two quite different business units because the stakeholders, the key opinion leaders were similar. It made sense. Does it make sense globally? Well, not really. but in order to make data storytelling really land and to make finance relevant, we need to speak the business language. We cannot come to the business and say, no, look, you should actually look at the numbers in a different way that, that I think wouldn't fly. So we allow Poland to set a structure of brands and business units how they want. In the middle section, we can see that we can do the same on costs so that we eventually can build a full PNL as we know it in any kind of fashion. 
And on the right side of the slide, we can see that eventually we can use globally standardized reports that 10 different people across the organization can look at. It is, has the same look and feel. It has the same access mechanism. And uh, the, the person in Poland will see the brand structured in a way how he or she thinks is relevant. And the person in Tokyo will see it differently. And the person in the US will again see differently. And you can, you can choose that. So really, the message from me is a meaningful customization can make a global solution useful for local needs. I think that's, that's really an important message. And uh, really, the, the delicate balance is where you, where you draw the line. But if you don't do it, I think um, you will never achieve really a global solution landing well with all the diverse all the diverse stakeholders.